Inbuilding Solutions, you've brought them to the show. What have you brought? What are you announcing? Uh, at the show, we've uh, announcing a next generation DAS system. It's called the OMU2. Um, it, uh, one of some of the unique things about it is it supports both high and low power remotes. So if you're trying to get coverage in a campus, you can put a high power remote in a large area, small power remote in a little office area. It supports all the LTE bands, so no matter where you want to run LTE, it's completely uh, ready for that. Um, and also has an incredibly low noise figure, incredibly low noise figure, which is important because DAS systems feed base stations, and if they have high noise figures, it can interfere and cause capacity issues with the base station. So ours is the lowest noise, fi lowest noise figure in the industry, so we're really excited about that. So the operator can support different kinds of DAS, the remote, the high and the lower power, and you've got multi-band support on it. Yeah, system. so uh, as you know, Axel's done a lot in the public safety industry, and so we continue to support public safety uh, remotes, but in the cellular space, all of the major frequency bands, whether it's here in Europe or in Asia or, or in the US, are fully supported. Okay. And, uh, You've also launched this, which is yeah, that's the low power remote. This yeah. is this is the MBF20. Uh, it's a little dual band box, and a, as you can see, it's like uh, A4 size, ideal for hanging on a, a, an office wall for a, a small area in a campus. So ju uh, two bands supported over a single fiber optic link. You can uh, connect another one to it to uh, in the field to make it a quad band again over a single fiber optic link. Simple auto configuration, plug and go kind of setup. As an operator looking at an in-building mix of coverage, you've come with this with this DAS product. What what particular challenges is that aimed to solve for him? Well, um, I mean, you probably heard the statistic that 80% of phone traffic is, uh, emanates now from within a building rather than outside a building. So operators are worrying about building networks from the inside out rather than the outside in. DAS is, is right at the heart of that. I mean, uh, literally, the, we're seeing the DAS market going bonkers right now. Uh, I was in the US last week. It's, it's, it's equally uh, vibrant over there as it is here in Europe. I know there's lots of talk of doom and gloom, but we're certainly not seeing that in the wireless space. Okay. And how do people might be interested to know how the, the chat around carrier Wi-Fi that we're seeing at the show, integrated with cellular, plays in the, in the in-building market? Is that something that you just work with? Um, it's, we see them as, uh, you know, it's not either or, you know, uh, I think they, they both have, have a play. Um, so our systems work alongside Wi-Fi systems and uh, we've seen carriers take a very pragmatic approach to it. If there are some Wi-Fi cells that they can jump onto and they can direct some of the traffic that way and they can get, a, get connectivity back to the network that way and that's cost effective for them, great. If, on the other hand, there isn't, then you know they'll, they'll perhaps go with a more traditional RF DAS approach. Okay. And as they deploy more uh, more DAS systems, because they've got to meet that indoor need, the 80% going bonkers, all of that, that means that they, presumably there's more of a sort of a management overhead, if you like, or, or tax on those systems coming back into their. Yeah. Al although one one of the things that certainly we've tried to do with our systems is make them. Uh, much more auto configuration. So, you know, you don't, the days of you having to spend, you know, hours now setting up a DAS system are, are, are long gone. It's, you know, it's all driven by auto configuration, uh, setup utilities. Yes, of course, if you want to tune them, you need to go into the GUI interface, but it is a, you know, it's a simple web GUI interface. It's easy to do. Um, you can do it remotely, you can do it locally. Um, you know, it's all aimed at helping the operator get, get the in building system up and running as fast as possible in the most cost effective way.